Welcome, my name is Reverend Dale Brown, and I want to tell you about my favorite Christmas carol. I've got a few people here in the sanctuary with me, and, and I asked them what their favorite Christmas carol was, and I got Silent Night, and Away in a Manger, and my favorite is I Heard the Bells on Christmas Day. Let me tell you a little bit about the history of this carol. Henry Wadsworth Longfellow is the author of the poem that provides the words for this carol. And he was a person who loved his family. And his wife had been seriously ill and had been battling with her health and struggling. And they thought they had gotten her to a place where she was feeling stronger and better. Sadly, she was doing something in the house and she was around a curtain or something of that nature that caught fire and she was burned to death shortly before Christmas. He had pleaded with his oldest son not to go off to fight in the Civil War and his son ignored him. And for a long time, they didn't hear from him and only later did they discover that he was wounded in a hospital in Washington, D.C. So it was up to him to provide Christmas for all of these small children while caring for his son and grieving his wife. And you know that the carol tells us that it seeming, seems as if evil and death and destruction has won. And Longfellow even admits that. He was in a foul mood when it came to Christmas, overwhelmed by the great responsibilities he bore. But on Christmas morning, he heard the bells, and he said that he was reminded that God is not dead, nor doth he sleep, and that the right, that good, that God will prevail. And the wrong will fail. And he began to say that in his heart he felt Christmas come alive. And he wished to all peace on earth, goodwill to men. There's a lot more to this story, and I probably don't have every detail right. I encourage you to look it up on the internet or to check with someone who knows far better than I. But I think that's the story of Christmas. That in the face of the darkness and despair and hurt and pain of our world, when it seems as if COVID-19 has run amok and has won, Jesus is born in Bethlehem. And that is God's statement that though God's kingdom might seem small, that one day it will win. Longfellow writes these words, and reminds us that the right, the good, that God will prevail. God did the end of the Civil War, and God will today also.